Delta 1900. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to fix a leaky Delta faucet, the old style. You can see here I have a leak coming out from this area here. That's the seal in here. And I also have it dripping into the sink constantly. So the first thing we're going to do is turn off the water. Okay, so now I have the water turned off. My turn off valves were under the sink. Yours could be under the sink, in the garage, down the basement, all depends on your house. So let's get started. You can see here I've bought the kit for ductile faucets. This kit includes everything I need, including the Allen key to get the handle off, and a new ball. I also bought a new brass ball, which is a little different and a little better than the one included in the kit. So, let's continue. Now the kit also includes some instructions on the back. I don't know if you can read those. But I can't. Anyway, there's a blow up. Okay, I'm going to start by using the Allen key included in the kit. Remove the, remove the handle. Now the uh, Allen key is located underneath here. You just gotta turn it a couple times. We don't have to completely remove it. It's just a set screw that holds it in the notch. Sorry about the shaky camera. Okay. Let's see what we got under there. Looks like a mess. Okay, the next thing we have to do is unscrew this piece here or here. So for that we're gonna use a pair of pliers with maybe some soft tools or maybe not. Okay, so now we're going to unscrew the top ball off. Okay. And then we're going to remove the ball by lifting up on this. Lifting up on it. Pulling it out. Inside we have two springs and two rubbers. We could just pull them out with the uh, Allen key like that. Just get in there and hook it, kind of. Okay, finally got it. See. That to the side, and next we're going to try to wiggle this and take it off. There will be some spillage, but we got to replace them rubbers if we want that to not leak around the edges. Okay. What we're going to do is clean up the inside of this, clean up the inside of that, make it look nice, and replace these two rubbers here. What we're going to do is hook a screwdriver under this rubber piece and work it around so we get it off, off there. Now we're doing the bottom one first so that way it doesn't get stuck in this groove when we go by there and then we have to do this job twice so right now and then the opposite will install the top one first that one off and then we're going to get this one off Got that on. 
off. Alright, now there's the two big O-rings that come in the kit here. Right here. And we're going to replace those. But first, I think we need to clean it up a bit. And that's always a good idea. Okay, now that we got it cleaned up a bit, looks a lot better. We can start installing our O-rings. First, make sure that you have this spacer here at the bottom. It's a little plastic spacer. It just helps your unit to glide easier without grinding metal. This is not included in the kit, so don't break it. It's just a little plastic sliver. Yeah. It's just a little plastic sliver. Don't break it. It's not in the kit. You could probably buy it, though, at Home Depot. Okay. So slip that on first. Next, what we're going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of grease on my little rubbers. I'm going to use a uh, real grease, like for a fishing reel, and I think that's pretty safe. You could use like olive oil if you don't feel comfortable using a little bit of grease. Okay, so now that I put a little bit of grease on my O-ring, I'm going to start to slide it down. this first kernel without messing it up. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to stick that in the first groove. Like that. Now, I'm going to get the second one. I'm going to put a little grease on it. And we're going to slide that down. To the okay, got my second one started. I'm going to slide that down to the bottom groove, like so. See if they're both in there. They both should stick out just a little bit past the edge. Now will make your thing nice and tight and waterproof. Okay, we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, so for this kit came with two sets of springs and two sets of rubbers. Our kit is going to use this small tapered spring and this large rubber. The taper end goes into the rubber like so. And then we're going to stick each of those in the hole. Okay, you can see my rubber. The spring inserted it. Now what we're going to do is stick one in each side of the hole here. Get my flashlight so you can see that better. See the holes? One on the left. One on the right, we're going to put one of those springs with the rubber in each hole. Put the rubber facing up and the spring taper facing up. And now you can see I got my rubbers in, the springs. See how that's how they should look. Okay, now I told you I, had, I was going to use a brass ball. And that's this one here. This one here is the stainless steel ball that came with the kit. And it's a lot lighter, so I think it's hollow or something. Anyway, the brass ball is a lot heavier, and I'm sure it's going to last a lot longer. So that's what I'm going to use. If you take a look at my old ball, there's a nasty groove ground into it. It should not look like that. The groove should look like that. Take another look at that. Yeah, that is nasty. I didn't know it was like that. All right, good thing we got a ball to change. So with the groove on the right-hand side, it's gonna stick into that little notch right there. Like that, just wiggle it in. Okay, now that's in. Next, we got a, a rubber piece. That goes on top. Stick that in. Next, we got this. And there's also a groove here, there, that's going to fit into a little notch on the side. Now oh, it's on this, on the left side. Okay, 
Very important to get that notch in the side there. Okay, so now we should be looking like this. And next we're going to get the uh, screw cap on. And uh, I'm going to clean that up. Okay, next we're going to install the cap. Your cap should have this adjusting thing. For now we're going to back it up almost all the way so that when we put it back on we can tighten it up. And it's, that's not really for uh, tightening up for leaks, it's just tightening up for the uh, feel of the handle. And uh, what I'm going to do is put a little bit of real grease on these threads so we don't have trouble getting it off again in the future. Okay, so we got our faucet back on. Make sure it goes all the way to the bottom. Now we're going to start with our screw cap. Sure it's straight so we don't we want to make sure it's in the notch. Keep screwing it down. You can see my ring is loose here because we're gonna tighten up tighten that up last. Okay now this part here, if you tighten the nut, we're just gonna snug this up. This keeps the ball from leaking. But since we already put a brand new seal in there, it's not gonna really gonna leak with our tight. So just make this hand tight for now and then you know make sure that you can move the handle see I already turned the water on make sure there's no leaks just moving smoothly and now I'm ready to put the handle back on see there's no leaks up in here and there we have it no leaks Thanks for watching.